One, two, three, go. Howdy, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another kind of ratings video. Uh, this I had done in the past a top 10 Las Vegas casino video, and that was, I think, before or after my trip to Las Vegas back about a year ago. I put some videos up on that. This case is going to be the top five most disappointing videos or disappointing casinos that I've stayed at. And by disappointing, I mean, yeah, I wanted to stay in them because I'd seen, I've been in a casino, gambled, and really enjoyed being there. But, well, when I stayed in the resort, the hotel, it was disappointing, and it was disappointing for various reasons, whether, you know, hotel room or whatever, but I digress. I'm going to start from the, I guess, least disappointing to the most disappointing, and I'm avoiding using terms like worse, etc., because some of these resorts are somebody's favorite place to stay, and I'm not trying to cause controversy. It's just why I stayed at these places. I was disappointed. So let's get on with the I guess number five, the least disappointed casino resort I stayed in. And that is the Excalibur. Now, the Excalibur, I mean, you look at the exterior and everything, and you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. It's going to be a little cheesy, and it's a holdover from when Las Vegas was going to be a family-friendly destination. Mind-boggling, but yeah. Um, the casino I've been in numerous times. I really enjoy gambling there. I have some decent luck, but... I don't like the, the actual resort hotel. And, I mean, in all in all, Excalibur has a great location. They have a great, great um, food court. No longer have McDonald's there, but that's a whole other different story. And I stayed at Excalibur because Mandalay Bay, there was a convention going on that I had wanted to attend. And Excalibur was the cheapest place closest to Mandalay Bay. And so the real disappointment came when I checked in. And the check-in, the casino is huge. And check-in is at the front of the casino. Then you have to walk all the way through the casino to get to the elevator bank. And the elevators were just basic, nothing no big deal. Got up into the room. The room was clean. It was just a real basic room. I mean, I stayed in better Holiday Inns than I've stayed in in Excalibur. And that was just the, I mean, disappointment of it, plus the going through the casino, etc. I know people bang on the Excalibur for being the Motel 6 of the Strip. Reality is it's not a bad place. Overall, I stayed there once, and that was enough. I mean, I had my reasons, and I'm done. Now, number two in disappointment, and the weird part is I've stayed there three times. First time was, hey, it's not bad. Other two times, it was because I was staying there with friends or family or other people, and they wanted to stay there because it was inexpensive. And that is where the disappointment came into. And it, it's one of those things where if you stay in a pyramid room, slip the person at the desk 20 bucks, and ask for a higher room in the pyramid. because. The inclinators, not elevators, 
the inclinators come up the sides of the pyramid and they end up are at the four corners of the pyramid and you have to walk all the way through the casino to get to the other three inclinators. My first time I stayed there, I was really lucky and I got the inclinator that is behind the check-in checkout desk and I had a, a room right next to the or practically right next to the lobby for the inclinators. So it was really not that big a deal. But the other two times not only did I have to walk all the way through the casino, but I also had um, rooms that were practically on the opposite side. And then you got to walk all the way around the pyramid. I mean, the interior of the pyramid is pretty cool. I wouldn't be surprised if someone shot some drone footage of it. But otherwise, I just was not happy with the Luxor. They have a small food court. And to be honest with you, the um, buffet is kind of bad. Not that great. And you know, after having stayed there three times, I'm not even going to stay there a fourth. If family or friends go out there and say, hey, let's stay at the Excalibur, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to stay at Mandalay Bay or MGM Grand. Now, the, yeah, excuse the car noise. The... Third, number three, disappointment was New York, New York. Now, I've stayed, or not stayed, I've been in New York, New York's casino multiple times. Love the pretzel stand on the second floor. And they have some decent restaurants. Um, overall, it's kind of a weird layout. And when I stayed there, I checked in. But then you got to walk all the way on the outskirts of the casino along the side of the building to find your elevator lobby. And there's multiple elevator lobbies due to the layout of the hotel. And I got in, rode the elevator up, got into my hotel room. I had upgraded my hotel room to a spa tub suite for extra couple bucks. Well, the spa tub was right next to the um, bed. You know, I suppose I could have just dove off the bed into the spa. That would have probably been stupid and dangerous. But overall, the room looked like it was in serious need of some upgrading, cleaning up. Overall, it was okay. I got to get the layout of New York, New York a whole lot better because I stayed there. And I it just was... Uh, I was just so disappointed. Like I said, I love the casino. And I don't mind some of the places there to eat. And it's kind of overall decent. But the resort was just bleh. So I really wouldn't want to stay there again a second time. And if I did have to, I probably would just say, look, I'm staying at MGM Grand. I'm staying at, uh, you know, Mandalay Bay. It doesn't matter. I'm just not wanting to stay a second time at New York, New York. The second most disappointing um, resort was Monte Carlo. Now, the Monte Carlo doesn't exist anymore. It's now the Park MGM. And to be honest with you, uh, the dark green highlights and name change doesn't even inspire me to stay there. I mean, I don't even want to. The check-in was cool. You walked in, you checked in, you walked over to the elevator bank, you rode it up to your room. There was a nice little food court that doesn't exist anymore. Um, when I stayed at Monte Carlo, the rooms were just plain average hotel rooms. In fact, I had to call maintenance because my armoire was broken and have them fix it or replace it, so I couldn't put my clothing into armoire. I had to leave it in my uh, luggage. And overall, the buffet sucked. I mean, you're talking the food was running hot or cold, or lukewarm at best. And it just, I mean, I just did not enjoy my stay at 
Monte Carlo. I was just so disappointed. And it had gone through a lot of changes since I stayed there and eventually became the Park MGM. But like I said, I'm not even inspired to stay there. I don't care. I don't want to stay there. You know, like I said, I'll go stay at Cosmo. Or, um, hell, I'd prefer to stay at New York, New York again if I had a choice. If someone said you either stay at, my, at Park MGM or New York, New York, and you'll get to stay there free, I'll go for New York, New York. Paris is now the number one disappointing casino resort that I stayed in. I love the casino. Don't get me wrong. I love gambling at the Paris. I enjoyed being there as far as gambling goes, and it's a beautiful location. Overall, it's nice looking, but the uh, Paris theme has really gotten worn. It needs to be updated to a more cosmopolitan, um, modern Paris feel. And when I stayed there, I don't even think Gordon Ramsay's steak was open yet or it was going to open. But the whole Parisian theme, I, I just, I had to go out to um, Planet Hollywood and the Cosmopolitan to go get something to eat. I just really didn't want to eat at any of the restaurants there. Even do, I think they had a buffet. The hotel room, yeah, the hotel room was just, yeah. I mean, separate tub and shower. But the tub wasn't even a soaking tub or anything special. It was just a bathtub. And the room itself was, oh, decorated Parisian, looked plain hotel room to me. I mean, overall, it was just a disappointment to stay at the Paris. And I, I stayed there because I wanted to. I'd enjoyed the casino. You know, like New York, New York, I'd stayed in the casino. And, or I enjoyed the casino and wanted to stay there. Paris, I wanted to stay there. Because I enjoy the casino, enjoy gambling. Yeah, I wasn't even happy with it. It was just so disappointing. And the whole reason I was staying there was my family was having a big to-do. And everyone was staying at MGM Grand. And I was impressed by the MGM Grand. I loved it. And I wound up, well, why don't I just tack on a few extra days and get a different flight out instead of going with my family, and I'd go stay at the Paris for a couple days. And overall, I mean, location-wise, it was great. You could go to Cosmopolitan, Bellagio, you know, Caesars Palace, all that other stuff. It was a great location, but again, very disappointing. And it was the number one spot because I was wholly disappointed in it more than I was the other places I stayed at. and and. This is just my opinion based on my experience. I mean, there are a lot of other places I probably would like to stay and would stay again, just not the Paris. Now, if you found this video helpful, you liked it, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave a message. Let me know what you think, what your opinions are, what you've been disappointed in when you go out to Las Vegas. Um, yeah, I, I was just doing this video for some fun, and it's a different special video. I finally got my green screen working so I could pop in pictures. Again, you know, thank you for watching if you've watched this far, because length of watch helps with the robots and stuff for YouTube. Uh, subscriptions, you don't get that boop, big subscribe button and the bell icon and boom youtube knows that i'm producing stuff worth watching otherwise i produce four videos a week and you don't want to miss out i'm brad proprietor barstool entertainment thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and thanks for stopping by